Jim Jane's world is often silent, often inscrutable. But here, in a makeshift studio, the mystery behind his inspiration finds a form, and he finds his voice. I think he's replaced speech. You know, um, communication is difficult for him. And now he's in a, in a place where nothing is wrong, because abstract art is not wrong. It's an expression. And so he's trying to tell an entire story. So each layer is a feeling or a thought. that You can see it with the whole painting uh, telling a story, like a complete story. The expression of a boy who is only 13 and who only speaks a handful of words. Neam is autistic. But ever since he picked up a paintbrush last summer, the same boy who has such trouble communicating began to master the art of telling his own story. And that was only the beginning. I didn't even know Neam had a gift for art. Uh, last summer, we were looking for uh, an activity for Neam to do. It was summer. And uh, we just thought, we'll give him some art. Well, uh, we bought some paints, we got some canvas, and we gave it to him, and he started creating these beautiful, beautiful paintings. OK. Nina Jane admits she is a little biased and jokes she's simply her son's humble assistant. It's okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. But she is a necessary one. Neam has trouble opening a jar of paint, and his poor coordination Here. means he can only paint in broad, abstract strokes. Get to another. But his passion is undeniably strong. Neam can paint for hours at a time, on more than one canvas at a time. Stripping everywhere. And Jane has even driven him here in his PJs when inspiration strikes at midnight. There's very few things he asks to do, and so the fact that he loves to go to paint and, and he feels inside that it's now time to paint means that he's in his mind pictured what this painting is going to be, what this expression is going to be. Let's take it inside. Like any proud mom, Jane wanted to put her son's creations on display. Pretty soon she ran out of wall space at home, so she posted some of Neam's paintings online. So, yes. That's when something no. completely unexpected yes. happened. Yes. So. No. Yes. So. Yes. I was really shocked. We are unable to hold the paintings. So the minute he makes them, within sometimes within 24 hours to 48 hours, the paintings are sold. We have multiple offers for the same painting. Some large pieces, you know, yeah. we've had some fun collecting. Andrew Cumming is an avid collector and even designed his new house as a gallery to showcase his prize pieces. What drives me is to get, an, get a conversation going with the artist. He was the first to buy one and then two of Neam's paintings, including this one Neam painted when he was just starting out at age 12. And the extraordinary thing to me about Neam is that you can't tell by looking at this picture that this kid is 12, he could be 25, he could be 75. Like there's nothing in here that betrays the fact that this is an early stage artist. Like this is a very sophisticated painting. There's nothing childlike about this. Like he has a gift. Let's bring this painting. That gift is turning into a full-time career. Nia, you gonna help me? 46 of Neam's paintings have sold across Canada and the US, some fetching close to $2,000. He's made nearly $20,000 already, and he signs everyone he sells the same way. I love you, Mia, too. And the demand keeps growing. Jane barely has time to bring his paintings home before shipping them out. Are you excited, Mia? Ten of his latest works are going all the way to Alberta. Let's go watch them. Look at this. Marco Rosado could barely wait to see them up close. Rosado owns an art gallery in Calgary and spotted Neem's paintings online, not knowing the story behind the artist himself. When I realized that he is a 13 years old, young guy uh, afflicted by autism, I honestly mm, triple checked the information because I couldn't believe it. It's paintings inside the painting. Rosado is also an agent for emerging artists all over Europe. Extraordinary. 
and wants to showcase Niem's work abroad. This movement he says Niem is already perfecting techniques similar to abstract expressionist masters Jean-Paul Riopel and Jackson Pollock. With the pigment uh, and all the dripping and the color, the way he blends uh, and the energy they, they release, it's really amazing. Niem's autism, he believes, is a gift in disguise. The autism has kind of opened an energetic channel in which uh, he communicates with his higher self and uh, from which he grabs all the information in order to be able to communicate uh, with the other humans. And this is the only way, uh, it, this is actually the only explanation I can give to what I've seen today. The art soap, does it help? By accident or divine design, it's all happening very quickly and it can be overwhelming. Why don't you go get the soap? But it is transformative too. Jane says her son is growing calmer, more confident. He's learning how to buy his own art supplies and learning life skills like using a credit card. Okay, I love it. And most of all, when you have a child with autism who has the degree of autism that Niam has, you know he's not going to be independent. And as a parent, you worry, what's going to happen when I'm not here? Um, who's going to take care of him? How will he, how is he going to, what's the future going to look like for him? And now that I know that he has paintings and he loves to do what he does, he has a reason to get up in the morning. And that's really, really important. And for Niam, in all the complexity he creates, he's found something remarkably simple too. How are you feeling? Happy. An accidental artist who on an unspoken level is proving the world is indeed simply a canvas to his imagination. Joanna Brumaliotis, CBC News, Toronto.